Dr. Peter Moletzani, who has been a GP for over 12 years, still harbors hopes of specializing in internal medicine. But the final year registered medical student says the university has made it difficult for him to achieve his ambition. Dr. Moletzani says despite his attempts to get help from the university, the National Department of Health and the Health Professionals Council, his faculty has refused to give him access to his own exam scripts something that will bar him from specializing. I have written to the Minister of Health. After I had spoken to the university, I have spoken to the Health Professional Council to talk about the way we are victimized, to talk about the way things are handled. Nobody wants to take responsibility. The economic freedom fighters say that many black students at the university are victims of institutionalized racism. Racism is the DNA of this university. And I know that because I also was a student at this very campus. So the professors, the white professors in this campus are the, are the main perpetrators of racism in the campus. They demotivate black students, they don't support them, they don't motivate them. They even push them to depression. We have a medical doctor who the one that Dr. Molazani is referring to, who they have not accredited since 2011, he went into d depression because of the treatment and the racism that he experienced in this very campus. Following the fighters' meeting with the university's medical faculty and the dean, there now seems to be some shaping up as the faculty is now attending to some of the grievances raised. I think history in this university has proven that for for justice to be served especially for black people action needs to take place mm -hmm. i think it's it's really funny how something that wasn't done over the past seven years can only be done an hour now mm -hmm. um and i i i it's clear that the eff as well as the student command is available and i i know for sure that we will leave no stone unturned to make sure that inclu inclusivity for black people is attained and transformation in all these institutions is also attained the EFF are confident that the plight of black students within the university will be won someday. After the EFF's interventions, Dr. P. Damoletzainer believes that he's a step closer to achieving his dream of becoming an accredited physician. On the other hand, the University of the Free State has yet to comment against the damning allegations that were leveled against them. Natasha Piri, Afro World View, Bloemfontein in the Free State.